Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review on something that is craft related. It's just not crochet related, but it is craft related. So I got this cute little sewing machine here that I want to do a quick review on and let y'all know what I think about it. Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? What it can and probably can't do and stuff of that nature. My hair is being crazy, so use it. This is my natural. It's curly and wild, so. Um, but this is a Singer Stitch Quick Plus. This cute little um, sewing machine here. So, this is um, a cordless mending machine, as they call it, mending machine. Um, of course, sewing machines are larger. You electric, you plug them in and whatnot. Um, but I think it's pretty should be considered a, a somewhat of a sewing machine. I think, at least. Um, so we're gonna go over what comes in the box and then go over the machine itself. And I think ignore my wild, my wilds back here because I swear. <laughs> So let's go over what is on the front of the box here. It says it's suitable for a variety of fabrics, papers, and crafts. I did not know you could sew paper. Cardstock possibly, or something of that nature is probably what it's talking about. So here on the side, it tells you the little extras it comes with. It does come with extra stuff. It comes with two pre-threaded bobbins, two machine needles, um, a needle threader, a bobbin winding pin, and a long thread spool pin. And I'm reading this stuff backwards, so hopefully I can read it correctly. Because it is uh, backwards and in the camera. It has three modes uh, of operation. It has an adjustable tension dial. Um, that is the bad, that's where the batteries go, the little cover, it just flips open and closed. It has a drop-in bobbin compartment. It does work with different um, size bobbins here or spools. It has a built-in thread cutter. It has a compartment in the handle that you could put the little accessories that you have as extra. And it has a convenient bobbin winder. And we're gonna go over a lot of this stuff here in just a minute. These are the features to it. It's lightweight. Um, it it's hard to read some of this stuff um, backwards, honestly. So it's lightweight and ergonomic to hold, pre-threaded, ready to use. Uh, creates a lock stitch using two threads, using desktop and or desktop or handheld mode. Added safety lock feature, bobbin winding function, adjustable tension dial built-in thread cutter uses a standard thread spools requires four AA alkaline batteries or an AC adapter that is not included so that's what it comes with it does not come with directions or anything so, straight up box this is what it's going to look like it is pre-threaded it comes with this spool or this bobbin on here and it's threaded and that's the way it comes and it also comes with the one down here at the bottom so this is what it looks like i'm trying to focus on the machine and not myself here you can see there is the um handheld and desktop modes here is there's the tension you turn it around slowly here is the needle and stuff this is the bottom bobbin compartment and thread spool here Turn it around. This is the lever for the foot. So turn um, around to the side here. This is the lever for the foot. There's the thread. This is where the AC adapter would go if you had one, but again, it does not come with one. Here's the top. We're gonna go over this in here in just a minute. This is the, this turns all of this here down to the thread. This is the button that uh, makes it go. Here's the handle. And I'm going to go over all the stuff that comes inside the little compartment here in just a second. And 
And this is where the batteries go. You have to buy your own batteries, so. But now that we've went over all that, you can't have it in desktop mode unless you have an AC adapter. I just don't think it really works. I'm sure it will work regardless either way, but I guess desktop mode does something a little differently. I don't know. Again, it doesn't come with the adapter, and I don't really don't plan on buying one. So, let's go over the stuff inside the handle here. It slides off. It comes with um, a threader here, a little metal one. Here are the extra machine needles. It comes with two bobbins that are already threaded in black and white extra with this one too so that's three total it comes with and then here are two pieces of the machine itself that um i'm going to show you how it works so okay so um back to what i was saying these two parts here that come in with the machine i'm not going to take this off because it's already threaded and whatnot but if you wanted to use a longer spool uh something of like this or even the larger ones you need to take this off and put this attachment on this will go in place of this now this piece here goes on top here and you just match it up and that is where this will go and that's for your winder that's for um, you to re-thread the bobbins and um, again, all that stuff fits in the handle nice and neatly and um, discreetly. Um, some other bobbins I got that are not sold or, you know, whatever. Um, I just got them just for to have as extra are these plastic ones here. Same brand. It's the Singer brand. These are plastic. I will show y'all. And then we're going to, I'll show you how the machine works. So you see here, these are plastic. And that's just to have as extras because you never know um i don't know if these are re-threadable or not i know the metal ones are but i'm not sure about the plastic ones <clears throat> so we're going to use this piece of fabric this is a 100 percent cotton and i'm going to put it in the machine and show y'all how good this little thing works <clears throat> so let me get y'all situated so i'm gonna show y'all how the machine works so before you start make sure you push this lever up that pushes the foot up here make sure both the top and bottom thread is ran out over here to the side you will put your piece of fabric in here and push the little footing down and that locks it into place and with one hand i press the button here and the other one i just hold this to guide it so okay i'm gonna lift the lever up over here and pull and there is a thread cutter right here on the front you gotta get a little force there okay and here is the stitching right here at the bottom and you see i've already done it previously but this is the stitching it does the top and the bottom so you have both and it works really well as you can see the stitching here hopefully y'all can see what i'm talking about again for the price of it 25 bucks i don't think you can beat the price um you can take it with you you don't have to worry about carrying a big bulky machine it we have so we've used this to so um a pretty good sized piece for something for a halloween costume thing um and it worked really well it did perfect with it i do plan on trying other things different materials and stuff um so i'll let y'all know on that probably make a little short video of it but again for the price 25 bucks you know, take it with you it's small it doesn't get really take a lot of space and uh, yeah it's a good learning piece here to have to use this small and i think it was i think it's definitely worth it honestly i really do so
This is the box in them case you're curious. Stitch Quick Plus is what it is. And we found this at Walmart. So. Right out the box. Just have all you have to do is uh, get batteries and it works straight out the box. So that's definitely a huge plus. That's it for today's video. Just a quick review. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. If you want to see something else, definitely let me know. Um, I have some crochet stuff or crochet order I really need to get back to work on that I'll be doing a whole video on. I've already kind of posted a little bit about it um, previously. Also have some decal orders I need to get working on. So that was it. If you get if you have one of these or if you go out and you buy one and you try it, let me know what you think. Honestly, I I, I like it. And of course it is my it has my favorite color on there, so why not? But I do plan on making more crafts with this, so I will probably do a few more videos um, of it. But again, if you have one and you like it or don't, let me know. Or if you happen to go buy one, um, just let me know what you think. I'm curious. So, that is all for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And um, thank you for the continuing support. I really appreciate it. I'm hoping to hop back on the things soon and uh, get my crafting motivation back. Thank you, though. Much love, and I'll see y'all next time.